G'day and welcome to this Marks Reviews and Tutorials video. We're working on the Accidental 1 Series today. The paint on this is really, really dirty. If you look up on the roof, very, very dull. Um, more on one side than the other. So again, it's because it's been parked under a tree. But this is this is pretty horrid. I know if I hit that with a polisher, all that dirt is just going to lift up and come into the polish pad and um, not go down well at all. So we're going to clay this with these new type of clay pads. Um, I'll show you one of those in a second. The rest of the paint's in pretty good nick. But again, here, you've just got these dirty marks that you can see there over on the bonnet. The scratching, this will all need to be polished. We'll get that done. But first of all, it's the claying. It's a bit more on the back edge here. We've also got some paint has been transferred down here and some scratches. So we're going to hit that up first. Tim, if you want to bring that one over and hit that up to see if the clay is going to make any difference at all. So this experimenting was uh, really, really good. We found out what these clay bar pads are good for and what they're not. Getting, getting the paint off, head. no. Getting like the finger marks, the blobs off, See. no. But getting the dirt out of the paint so it can then be polished um, or sanded, really, really good. These are the clay bar things I bought. These are just the cheapest off eBay. I wanted to give them a go. You can have a go at that scratch. Let's see if we've got anything at all. Just, just pick one of them. Yeah, a bit more. I know clay does need... We need to lubricate clay in all circumstances. Let's just go circular. I get the dirt out. Because I know with this car, I have started to polish it already. And it just filled the um, polish pads up with dirt. So we know we need to give it a clay to, um, to get that dirt off. Did it feel smoother? See how that dries. All right, yeah, that's made a big difference. And it's taken the dirt off. So now we can give it a polish. Oh no, look at it as it's drying, it's coming back again. But still, the fact is that the dirt is off that now, it's looking better. So we can now attack that with the polish and get rid of those. And the same with that, the polish will take the paint off. We're gonna have a little go on this guard here. I might just stop and just do half so we can do a direct comparison as to if it's making any difference or not. Okay, so we're working uh, this little bit of panel here and then not here. And you can definitely feel the dirt in the panel here still, particularly the, the back of your fingers is always the best. That's really dragging and that's transformationally different. That is, that dirt is out now and it is looking better um, up the top there. It's very hard to pick up from the camera. Let's try from this angle here. Yeah, there's a lot more dirt here than what there was. So it is working. The real proof of the pudding is going to be up in the roof, um, up here, where it's really bad. You see, here's the, the good paint and there's the bad. I'm not expecting great things. We may have to repaint this, but I'm hoping if we clay it and then polish it, then that'll be enough to bring it back. Okay, so we've done this section of the roof. Now to look at, looking at that undone section and that, it probably doesn't look too different, but I can see the bit of gloss shine, the bit of the paint coming through underneath here. And there, the feel is just so incredibly different. As I said, we've given this a good scrub with soap and water and got as much as we could out, but it's still very gritty. You can feel that um, all the dirt that's caught in that paint. And here, it's totally different. It is now smooth, like all that dirt's out. So we can now polish this. So no, okay, this um, clay bar is working because that, can you hear it? That's really very, very different to that. So no, it's working. We'll hit the whole thing over, um, clay the whole roof, and then we'll get the big polisher out and see what we can't restore with that as well. So this side of the roof wasn't so bad. I'm back on this side of the roof. This has responded really well. This clay is working and it is lifting the um, dirt out of the paint. If you listen to the, can you just hang on for a sec, Tim? If you listen, that's the good bit. And over here, you hear that even when we wet it up there's just that's what it's pulling up and it is doing a brilliant job there done that's now got the paint out of it and it's doing well so yep i'm liking what i'm seeing so far as claying it and bringing this back to smooth um it's doing a good job all right so given the roof are going over all over 
where the water was sitting on top, look at that reflection onto the trees. Remember how bad this was? I mean, that's always fake when you get a bit of water, but it's a great sign if you're restoring paint. If when it's wet, it looks good again, there's a good chance you'll be able to restore it. And uh, we'll just see how this dries up, but the feel is just dramatically different. It's feeling like a polished car now. So just claying it, getting all that dirt and muck off. And then we are gonna cut it as well with a polishing machine. But uh, for now, that's um, that's good. I'll let you see how it looks dry, because it looks better now than what it's going to in just a couple of Here seconds. Here we go. It's pretty much dry now. That is a massive difference. I don't, know, I don't know how much is coming up in the video, but this was just like, it just looked thick with dirt. And now to feel it, it's feeling so much better. Really, really transformational difference. Here. So I am happy. So far as is the clay working, yeah, it is. It's gotten all that dirt off. So now what we're gonna do is, is lay some polish onto this, actually some cutting compound, and see if we can't bring this top layer of clear coat um, back and get a polish into it. So I've got another video, I'll have a look up here about how to do polishing and polishing, but we'll, we'll get stuck into this guy and we'll show you the results as we go.